Confronted by the greatest crisis since the communist invasion that caused the Korean War, the United Nations Security Council with Henry Cabot Lodge as president sits in extraordinary session. A Sunday convocation that hears Guatemala's chief delegate allege that his country is the victim of international aggression. Though the facts show that the rebellion now disturbing Central America is one conducted by patriotic anti-red Guatemalans, which inspires Russia to air the worn out charge that the U.S. created the trouble. Although the Guatemalan, to Mr. Lodge's satisfaction, absolved the U.S. Well, I'm very glad that the Guatemalan representative made it crystal clear that he makes no charge whatever against the United States government. The Kremlinite then hears this warning. Representative of the Soviet Union, stay out of this hemisphere and don't try to start your plan from your conspiracies over here. Translation. Guatemala Honduras border, the town of Nueva Octopeque, headquarters of the Guatemala insurgents, is invaded by a plane load of American newsmen, including Al Waldron, movie tone veteran war photographer. Here to bring the world reliable newsreel reports from this latest global hotspot, his camera catches a press interview with secondary anti communist liberation leaders, Captain Mendieto and Colonel Lopez, who, with maps, explain how they hope to capture the capital city. Massing for an advance against the communist-dominated forces of President Jacobo Arbenz Guzman, the liberation patriots are well equipped with small arms. They quickly overrun a number of border towns which surrender without a shot being fired. But it's all very confusing. For while rebel headquarters bustles and its top leaders, Colonel Carlos Castillo Armas on right, here with his first aide, Colonel Mendoza, plan their campaign, the United Nations is racked with conflicting opinions about what to do to avoid further bloodshed. As events in Guatemala disclose an anti-communist army junta replacing the red-dominated government of President Jacopo Abenz Guzman, Students in Tegucigalpa, Honduras, stage a demonstration protesting the use of their country as a base by the Guatemalan rebels. And it becomes inflamed by the news that communists bombed a Honduran airstrip at San Pedro de Copan, a scene to which the chief of the Honduras Air Force, Major Hector Carociola, brings your movie tone cameraman in the press, where a native identifies the hole dug by the bomb, which was a dud. But the ousting of the communists hasn't stopped the original rebels with reports now telling of the bombing and strafing by them of Guatemala City. In Guatemala City, representatives of the new anti-communist government inspect $10 million worth of arms that were sold to the deposed red government of President Arbenz. Manufactured in Czechoslovakia and delivered by Polish ships, the collection was supposed to help the commies to suppress the rebellion against their tyranny. But listen to this. It's all junk. The commies, knowing they didn't have a chance, unloaded a lot of defective arms on the Guatemala Reds. A new twist in red duplicity. 